Okay, so we're going to do a quick uh, quick review of functions, the basic functions, what function you need to know, and, and a lot of uh, different stuff. So just uh, to start off, um, what is a function? Uh, well, a function is a rule, and you can think of it as a rule, let's say this is a, uh, it's like a machine, and it relates... Uh, one quantity that we'll call the input or what you commonly in math think of as the x value but we'll just call it input and the function sends out a output which you commonly have referred to as y uh, but it, they, the variables can be different and so this function uh, does something for example um, this is a very simple function. Um, you input a number into here. So this is the input. And the output is double the number that you put in. So for example, um, if you want to input 4 into this number, well this function, what it does is it's going to double that number 4 and give you 8. This guy is the output of that function. Okay, simple enough. All right, so just to make sure that, that um, we're all on the same page. Now, the domain of a function is really important. Uh, the domain is the set of all possible inputs. Okay, so you need to be able to find the domain for um, the basic, a lot of the basic functions. Uh, so let's say, for example, uh, polynomial functions. So we have x to the fourth plus x cubed minus 2x plus 3. So the domain of the polynomial function, uh, basically you look at it and you go, okay, what numbers can or can't you plug in? So if you plug in a number, any number, doesn't matter what it is, you'll always get an output. So that means that every input is possible. You can plug in any number whatsoever. So this means that uh, the domain is all real numbers or um, in interval notation this would mean that you can go from negative infinity all the way up to positive infinity. Okay, now um, let's say, for example, you want to find the domain of a square root function. Square root of 2 minus 4x. Well, this one is slightly differently because you know you can't plug in every number. For example, if I plug in 0, I would get square root of 2, which is okay. That gives me a number. But for example, plug in 1 you'd get 2 minus 4 or square root of negative 2, you can't find the square root of negative 2. So that's a number that you're not allowed to plug in. It is not in the domain. Well, what numbers are in the domain? Well, for square roots, anything that makes 2 minus 4x greater than or equal to 0. And so if you're looking for the domain of this function, well, what you're basically doing is trying to solve this inequality. And so we can do that. Um, let me rewrite it over here. Let's, let's rewrite it. Um, let's write um, the function, square root of 2 minus 4x, and then um, 2 minus 4x is greater than or equal to 0. So we can solve this. Um, first, we'll bring the negative, the, we'll bring the 2 over. So we get negative 4x greater than or equal to negative 2. And then um, divide both sides by negative 4. Now, here, um, you've got to be uh, careful. Remember that any time you multiply or divide by a negative number, you have to flip the inequality. So this becomes not greater than, but less than or equal to, and then positive 1 half. Okay. So then... To write this in interval notation, let's draw a number line real quick. And let's put down the number 1 half. 
So it's less than or equal to one half, so that means it includes one half, and I'm going to go uh, left. So you look at this number line, so this tells you that you're going all the way from negative infinity, which always has parentheses, all the way up to one half, and since one half is included, use a bracket. And this is the domain of this uh, function, g of x. Okay, now for, for example, um, rational functions, for example, just a simple one, 2 minus x, um, notice that you can plug in any number except what makes this uh, the denominator 0, because the denominator cannot equal 0, it's undefined. And so what you, it turns into is you're trying to solve this guy. So you know that x cannot equal positive 2. So x can be any value except um, positive 2. Because when you plug in positive 2, you get 0 in the denominator, and that's not allowed. So then let's draw a quick little number line here again. And you have uh, 2 here, but 2 is not in the domain, so we'll put an open circle there. And so then you were allowed to plug in anything to the left of 2 and anything to the right of 2. So to write this down in interval notation, which is really important, that's what we're going to be doing um, the entire semester. Whoops, sorry. I messed up the, uh, I didn't move the paper. So anyways, um, 2 with open circle, and then the domain is everything to the left of 2 and everything to the right of 2. And so in interval notation, we're going to go all the way from negative infinity all the way to 2. Now in this case, 2 is not included, so we will put a parentheses. And we're going to join it, or union from 2 all the way to positive infinity. And remember, infinity always has parentheses in interval notation because it's not really a number. And um, 2 has parentheses because it's not included in the domain.